Leo, welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 12th of May. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot deck and my Time to Shine Oracle, which are shuffled and ready to use. So your overall energy, your help or your hurdle, your focus, what do you need to focus on? How can you help yourself? Pulling it all together. And your outcome card. So, your overall energy. King of teacups. Now we've got a king and a queen just in the tarot cards. I'll explain that later on. King of teacups is lovely. An authority figure in the deck. Absolutely personifying loving kindness, generosity, compassion. And sharing and sharing all these qualities with other people. The King of Teacups is somebody who you would very much find uh, in a charitable organisation, a non-profit or in some sort of role where they are helping people to feel better. So this could be com somebody coming in with these qualities to help you or this could be you stepping up into this role. Your help or your hurdle, the five of pencil says it's time to move on with new plans, new ideas and new ways forward. Learning from experience and look, she's closed this little gate. She's been there, she's done that, she's got the t-shirt and now she's taking all of that wisdom and knowledge and she's moving off in a new direction. What do you need to focus on? Moving off in a new direction, literally what I've just said, the dreamer card, the first card in the whole deck is about literally doing that. A leap of faith, trying something new, opening those doors of opportunity for yourself and seeing what's on the other side. You can stand behind these closed doors forevermore. But look, she's making a move trying something new. Now it might mean stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit. That's absolutely fine. She's ready to start something new and to open these new doors for herself. How can we help ourselves? What's going to help you do this? The Queen of Coins steps in. Again, authority figure in the deck. The Queen of Coins is absolutely um, personifies grounded common sense, practicality, resourcefulness. Everyone that comes into her orbit has all their needs met. She's very much that mothering energy, very much connected with finances. She's very good at finances, very focused on home life, family life, work life, material life and the reason she is so successful is that she uses grounded common sense she thinks straight she's sensible and those are all qualities that you need to be mindful of this week pulling it all together the two of teacups is all about conversations and discussions talking things over this is about clarity in communication speaking and listening and making sure that you have a really clear understanding of one another and the outcome is lovely the ego card this is you leaving behind anything else or anything that's weighing you down and holding you back so that might be self-criticism self-doubt it might be fear it might be self-sabotage. She doesn't need those anymore because she's picked up these balloons. The road in front of her is clear now and she's focusing on self-belief and confidence and optimism. So just looking at your tarot cards, an overall energy, an overlighting energy of loving kindness, generosity, compassion the king of teacups bringing in these beautiful qualities very much a week where you're learning from the past which is great 
Moving forward with new plans and new ideas, pushing these doors open of new opportunity, helping you do that by being sensible, grounded, using your common sense, talking things over, making a plan on how to do that and being ready to focus on confidence, supporting yourself and having that self-belief. So let's get a little bit more clarity. The four of emotion says, look out for these wonderful opportunities. Stand back and pay attention. So this is looking at things from all different angles. Don't just be so focused in one direction that you miss a golden opportunity because this good news is coming in. You just need to stand back and look at the bigger picture. Your help or your hurdle, the far of life is about making balanced decisions. Now, the Queen of Coins is here to help you with that. So this is making sure that your finances balance, uh, considering work-life balance, how much time you're giving away, how much time do you take out for yourself. All of that needs considering and a grounded, sensible plan putting together. What do you need to focus on? Literally what we were saying here, releasing what's holding you back. Trust you know, trust your intuition, start feeling lighter. It's very much a week of leaving behind anything that's been weighing you down. How can you help yourself? Oh, this is lovely. Ten of emotion, happy ever after card. This is emotional fulfillment. It's trustworthy relationships, rewarding relationships, quality time spent with loved ones. This is the card of being happy ever after. Everybody enjoying everybody else's company. It's absolutely lovely. Pulling it all together, the nine of action says keep going. Stay motivated. Don't give up. Believe in yourself. This self-belief energy is coming through quite strongly at the end of your reading. So let's see what the final outcome card is. This is lovely. 21 the world. Celebrating the completion of one project, experiencing positive moves forward, advancement and success. So very much the end of one cycle and the start of something new. Here you are leaving behind Anything that's weighing you down, anything that's holding you back. And this is the card of the positive new start. It's the end of the old. It's the beginning of the new. And it's advancement and success moving up to the next level. Absolutely lovely. Moving on, stepping through this door of opportunity and making your positive move. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you even more for liking and subscribing. It truly does support my channel and I'm so grateful for that. So have a lovely week. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you here again soon.